conversation about psychedelics is relevant and important in our lives right now. That's not to mean that we should all be taking it necessarily, but that it has a role to play to, I think, make it possible for us to survive the challenges that we have coming towards us um, in terms of an ecological collapse, uh, slow motion destruction of life and the planet, and uh, a, really the sixth extinction, which has been now labeled officially, the Anthropocene. We all need help. We need tools that will allow us to more rapidly and profoundly change consciousness. And I think psychedelics is a part of that mix, a part of that toolkit. So it's important to talk about it, to, to, to raise it out of this hedonistic silliness and into the level of seriousness and importance and intention that it really needs to be looked at in. So that's one of the reasons that I'm attracted to the idea of bringing together Buddhism, which is a time-tested ethical system, with, in conjunction with psychedelics in a serious and purposed way, to examine them both together and to look at the roots of both, in a sense, also. The roots of their conjunction uh, was interesting because it's really the same people who really talked about Buddhism and psychedelics in this culture. The same cast of characters, whether it be Allen Ginsberg or Alan Watts or uh, Jack Kerouac, I mean, there's a host of them, Ram Dass. Uh, they both spoke about their, their experimentation in, in, uh, in psychedelics and, and also their study of Buddhism and why that made a difference in their life.